embodied beings of light. Jesus disciples during his time on earth. You, too, belong to those who, as my true disciples, shall proclaim the gospel of love in the last days, who gathered around me while I lived on earth and to whom I gave the promise that they will be permitted to serve me at the time of my return. Only when you hear these words will you understand the importance of the mission I assign to you. I can only use people who are enthusiastically committed to their work in their willingness to be of service and love for me. Such conscientiousness can no longer be found among people of this earth. Thus I had to send you to earth but I could not let you keep the recollection of your past activity. You must travel the earthly path like all other people, in awareness of your human weaknesses and struggling for a strong faith. However, my spirit can work through you. You are able to receive the truth from above and understand it. And therefore you can also spread it throughout the world, as was your task in the past. I am giving you this hint of your origin because you shall realize from this that you will only administer that office for a short time which you also administer in the spiritual kingdom, and that this office is an extremely significant one, for what I previously started. To pave the path back into the Father's house, you shall once again firmly impress upon people and also show them the way before the end arrives before a period of a completely new order follows. You have always been willing to inform people of me and my act of salvation on my behalf. But during the last days before the end it is particularly necessary for people to remember me, for I alone am their salvation, I alone can pull them back from the abyss that they are approaching in their blindness. However, they must acknowledge me, just as they did when I lived on earth they must call to me Lord, help me. But people walk along without knowledge, for whatever they know about me and my act of salvation is merely a myth for them. For this reason you must proclaim me in the world with utter conviction. And since you, as human beings, are no different, even though you have come from the kingdom of light, you must first receive through my spirit the true knowledge about me and my act of salvation so that you will be able to stand up for me with conviction. Your soul allows for the working of the spirit in you. A process which is only rarely demonstrated by present day people and who therefore also find it difficult to believe in. And because your task is so important I have educated you again as in the past that is your human nature had to accept heavenly wisdom first in order to be subsequently able to preach among humanity again, as you did in the past. In those days the number of my disciples was large and many offered themselves to take this path across earth in the last days before the end in view of the immense spiritual adversity which urgently requires help. But every light soul on earth also had to voluntarily acquire the degree of love again which allows for the working of the spirit. This person's struggle is no less strenuous than that of any other person, it is just that the soul will always have the will and the connection with me and therefore live a life of love, which then will also guarantee the working of the spirit. This makes it possible to convey my word to earth again, I myself will once again be able to preach the gospel of love to everyone who will not close his ears and heart. You have become my forerunners again, you only carry my gospel throughout the world, you do not speak your own words but allow me myself to speak through you, just as it was your mission after my ascension when you became receiving vessels for me myself which enabled me myself to be with you in spirit. And so I will always be present to people until the end of the world. For without me no one will attain beatitude, without me the path into the Father's house cannot be found, without me humanity will live in guilt and sin and you will take the downward path. Yet my own will legally participate in the redemptive work, my own will place themselves at my disposal wherever I will need them. 
and all those of you who want to serve me belong to my own and will indeed be able to accomplish your work successfully, for you will only ever work on my behalf. And if the Lord assigns an office to you, he will also give you the strength to administer it. He himself will be with you with his strength and his blessing and, once your mission is over, will fetch you again into his kingdom. Amen.